Hi guys, girls. Now I'm back in your pals. And everyone, everyone, welcome back here, friends, for another Hoop Loves Talk. So, sorry. We have been talking about how getting into a character is important and why we relate with certain characters because they have certain traits. And, you know, just really starting to think about the psychology behind that. Now, personally, for me, the way that you make a good fan fiction, good edit, and a good, you know, written paper on a person, even in school, yes, and at work, is by understanding them and getting into their head. Now, you may think, okay, well, you told us this. Now, how do, you, how do we get into everyone's head? Well... That's it. We break it down. We think about their motives. We think about the situation. We think about their POV. We think about them. We think about things that they're seeing. And when we start seeing that, we're able to kind of just relate it back to us in a way. That's kind of how it all works. We already know it, but we just don't know that we do. And it's important to see that we do. Now, ways that we can get into characters' brains, too, in, like, little simple exercises are memeing, memeing them. Um, totally being like, oh, yeah, well, if I was doing that, I'd totally do that because this, that, and that. And you might not think, okay, well, how would I, how would I do that? That's, like, natural. It'll naturally come as you start taking more time and looking into the character and saying, personally, I feel like you can't just look at one thing and be like, okay, this is the character, this is this, this is that. I feel like you have to look at fan fiction, you have to look at other edits, you have to look at other papers, you know, you have to see how other people form their opinions on it and you gotta understand how they form their opinion and what they saw and what you're seeing And you got to have a wide range of perspective like that. You have to understand. And, well, yeah, okay, who's got the time to do that? I mean, I just want to write. I I get it, I get it. But writing is a very important part of reading. And reading is a very important part of writing. And it is to, like, everything else. They all correlate together i mean you can't have one without having the other it's just it's how life works <laughs> it just is sweets so i mean basically we have to be able to be willing to do that now i will tell you I am a multi-shipper. I ship many things. And I do because I'm convinced in the ship. I'm convinced in the realness of the ship. Now, you may think, oh, this is irrelevant, but it's not. So, hold on and just do your best not to negate me. I get it. But, hold on. Anyway. What I'm saying is that I'm convinced to be in this ship because I am convinced to be in this fandom because I have had things that have convinced me to do so. I have been given this evidence in this edit. I have been given this evidence in this movie, in this fan fiction, in this writing, in this whatever to be part of a fandom and then to become part of a mini fandom inside the fandom as in a fandom ship. So, Kylux. Yes, rights go to Disney and Lucasfilm also. Now, because I mentioned them. I am a Raylo shipper, but I am also a Kylux shipper. And you can be like, ugh, whatever. I don't I don't believe in Kylux. That nah. No no no. Just just wait. It's okay. <laughs> um Basically, what I'm saying is the way I got into Kylux was by way of comic dubs. 
I know, right? Your girl's been watching comic dubs for a minute. <laughs> I watched comic dubs when I was younger, like last year. Um, and I was, you know, watching these ones that had music in the background. They were really nice Star Wars comic dubs, but there were these like um, comic dubs where you know, Raylo was happening and Kylux was happening, but, like, they left Kylux to go to Raylo. The person who made these comics and the person who dubbed these as well made a really good job of convincing me that Kylux was real. The people who made the other comic dubs that I was watching of Kylux also did the same. They made it real. They made it relatable. They made it understandable. And that's how I got into it. The edits look like they were made by somebody who actually cares and actually likes Kylux. And you can tell because they can tell their dynamics and they explain their dynamics within everything they do in the edit, within everything they do in the comic book, within everything they do in the video and the damn thing. And that's why I was convinced to become a Kylux shipper because the first things I saw on YouTube and elsewhere about Kylux all convinced me that the relationship was real and they established it as real and as, you know, well, legitimate. And that's what you have to do as a writer, as the actor, as a person in this world in your music you have to show that this is real this is this is human this is not something that you know just got thrown together and boom it's together no this is talking about this and it's this and you have to make your viewer feel what narrator what the character what everyone is feeling you have to put them into it you know that's the whole entire thing and it's very important that you do that and it's very important that you understand your characters to be able to do that because you having that little side chit chat thinking oh yeah we should totally do an image of this and totally do that and totally make a joke about that those little things will engage your viewers a little more get them into the character a little more get them into every character a little more and help them enjoy it a little more it'll make them feel what the character is feeling a little more and make them feel like this isn't boring this isn't some crazy you know show or movie about space battles out into (laughs) the middle of a galaxy far far away like George Lucas you know didn't in Star Wars no you have to see the human in them which is what he did in Star Wars you know it wasn't just like oh yeah some random people in this place are like that and you're gonna watch it and you're gonna be entertained because this is their life would you watch that would you read that be honest with me would you think about that okay I most definitely know that I would not watch that, that I would not read that, and that if I ever made a story like that, I'd I'd probably be very upset at myself, okay? Because you can't just be like, boom, 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 these are characters, this is setting, this is where we are, this is is the light, okay? You have to ease them in to the rules of the world and the law of the land and of the fic, and of everyone. You know, it can't just be foreign, because if it's foreign, then we start to negate, we start to battle, we start to put up our shields and be like, no, whoa, 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 hold on, you're saying that he wasn't that, 
bad of guy because of this, that, and other. No, no, no. He was because he did this, this, and that. Like, uh, uh, uh. No. No. We have to be able to relate with every character so then we can get those little memes and stuff out of it get that little fun out of it for us and for the viewer and the audience because this isn't just my fanfic my podcast my this it's ours it's ours my friends my dudes my guys my gals my dudettes my my friends it's it's ours we share it with each other in the world And that's why it's so important with getting into characters, you know? For me, personally, I'm really into the art. So I'll, like, have a song that's supposed to mean something to this character that also probably means somewhat similarly the same thing to me. And I dance it out. I sing it out. I act it out. I work it out. And I make it work where we understand it, where we all get it where we all can relate to it and where we all can feel that you know i get the words out i get the meaning out i get the motive out but i sometimes can get the motive out and keep the other motives in that's how you get a good fanfic that's how you get a good paper you sit with the work you take your time And you're able to do the personal image. You're able to do the justifying of this character, of this point of view. You're able to share it and show the world that, hey, this person isn't so different from you. And you can understand them. You don't just feel like, okay, you're wrong. You're this, you're that, you know? Even if the character is narcissistic in a story, you should be able to relate to them somehow, some way. Because if they can't, then it's just foreign. And if it's foreign, why watch it? Because you won't understand it. Why watch something that's going to make you do more work to try and understand it? When you can just read something that you already know Though it's taking you into the unknown. Let's go to Frozen for that too, okay? (laughs) But what I'm saying is why do something foreign when this is for everyone and this is for the whole entire world? Understand what's going on in the inside and in the head of all of your characters at all times. Don't forget that certain characters exist. And don't forget to show tiny inklings here and there that they are still here, even if they aren't. Be real with yourself, be real with your viewers, be real with everyone. Make this ours because it is ours. You're giving it to the world. And make sure that it's not foreign and that you're not just the only one all in on the fun. If you can't understand their point of view, do it again. Because maybe it's the wrong point of view. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed getting inside a character and understanding them. I'll be here next time for our next topic that we will go into. Bye. I love you all. And let that rest and resonate with you. You don't have to go to the next episode right away. Even if it's uploaded or it comes up next on Spotify or wherever. Take a moment and just think about it. Till then, my friends, I hope you have a good day, night, whatever, and I will see you. I will see you next time.